Smart mapping in the ArcGIS API for JavaScript consists of more than a dozen APIs and widgets that generate styles specific to your data. Last December, we released a new theme, above and below, for size visualizations. This allows you to visualize data above and below a critical middle value using size. Let's go ahead and explore a data set using this new theme. I'm a big fan of national parks, so I downloaded this table, which contains the total number of visits to each national park for every year from 1905 all the way to 2020. And I used it to create this map, which shows the total number of visits to parks in 2019. More people visited national parks in 2019 than in any other year. And while this map is interesting and allows me to view which parks were more popular than others, I'm really more interested in seeing how those numbers fluctuated from year to year. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable this style. And now I can see how the number of visits changed between 2018 and 2019. Visits to Great Smoky Mountains were much higher than others throughout that year. And in the West, I see that popular parks actually had a decrease in visitors despite the historic overall numbers for 2019. Now I'm curious to see what this data looks like for 2020 when COVID-19 spread across the country. And I can see a predictable pattern when I update my style to point to this latest data. Overall, there was a 25% decrease in visits to National Park in 2020. And I can see that reflected in the most popular parks, such as Yosemite and the Grand Canyon. In fact, the Grand Canyon had 3 million fewer visitors in 2020 than it did in 2019. Interestingly, um, some of the parks in the east actually had an increase in visitors in 2020, none more so than the Cuyahoga Valley, which had uh, more than half a million visitors uh, in 2020 than it did in 2019. Now, while showing the total change allows me to see the each park's uh, increase or decrease as an overall magnitude related to the rest of the data set, Showing the percent change allows me to view how significant the increase or decrease in park visits was for each individual park. Check out these Alaska parks with these enormous icons. Visits to Alaska parks were actually down by more than two thirds from 2019 to 2020. But perhaps no park was more impacted than Glacier Bay, which had a 99% decrease in visits from the previous year. And that number actually makes sense because of its heavy reliance on the cruise industry to bring passengers to the park. And since that was closed down throughout most of 2020, people that would have normally visited simply couldn't do so. Now let's go ahead and explore this data in relation to other world events, such as the 1918 flu epidemic. There were fewer parks back then, but we see a similar pattern. Overall, visits to parks were down, though some individual parks actually showed an increase in visitors. And in World War II, every single park had a decrease in visits with the exception of one. And that pattern held true from 1942 through 44, but in 45 and 46, we see a huge increase in visits to national parks. And in some cases, by more than two or three times the amount from the previous year. Now this app brings together multiple views of my data, Alaska, Hawaii, and the Virgin Islands, in addition to lower 48, so I can explore this data all at one glance. Let's go ahead and explore how this app was created. So as I just stated, there are four different views of my data. Though there are four views, I actually point to one single data source in each view, one map, and this allows me to manage my data in one place. And when I construct each view, I can actually render my data differently. Depending on the area, I can set a spatial reference that makes sense for that view. And the statistics that were queried and displayed in the top right corner of that view were not actually queried from the service. They were actually queried from the data in memory that was previously requested as required for rendering. This allows me to make fast queries for a better user experience as they explore my data. And finally, how is that style generated? This was created with the create continuous renderer method available in smart mapping. All I needed to do is provide it with my layer, a view, and this new above and below theme, and then reference a data value. This could be a field name or a value expression or arcade expression. The arcade expression I use here simply takes the total number of visits for the selected year on the slider and subtracts it from the previous year. I then select one of 12 symbol pairs that are ideal for visualizing data above and below that critical value, in this case, zero. Then smart mapping takes over, selects the color scheme, generates the render, which I can then set right back on my layer. 
So with the tools available in the JavaScript API, together with smart mapping and a very fast client-side query engine, the process of making data exploration apps is faster, easier, and more enjoyable than ever before. Thank you.